Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a custom blog post template. So it sounds difficult, but it's really nice, pretty easy. Hey guys, and, and I want to tell you before I get started here, go ahead and smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and subscribe for more videos. I would really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, so I'm using the Divi Theme Builder. This is a website that I've designed just for tutorial purposes earlier, and now I want to do a blog section. So I've made a new page, I call it a blog, and then I've gone into my setting my and made this my blog page. All right, and then this is my post page. As you can see, it's nothing outstanding. Let's go into the theme builder now and, and do a custom blog post template. So what we do is we just go to add new template and there's post and there's blog. Okay, blog, like I said, blog is the page where all your blog posts will go to. Your post page is where your individual post is at. All right, so we'll start off with the blog. And if we just go to create template and then for add custom body, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an add custom body since we have a header and a footer already on this website. We'll just go add custom body, and then we'll just go uh, build custom body. You can add a, a body from a lib from the, your library if you'd like, but for this example, I'm still gonna build from scratch. And I'm gonna have a, basically a blog grid section. So I'm still gonna go to module, and I'm gonna go to blog. And it's gonna be a grid. I've already inserted three dummy uh, posts. All right, and I'm still gonna do my, my top three posts. And if you want your categories, you want all categories included, you just check that. I don't have any categories listed in this blog, but if you do have categories, it will show up right here. Then you can choose the format that you want the blogs to show up in, uh, if you want the excerpts or not, and their length. All right, and then for elements, you can choose if you want the featured image, if you don't want the featured image, uh, the author, the date, the title, the categories. All right, but let's go to design and layout. I actually want, like I said, I want a grid. So I'm just going to go to grid. And it lays it in there pretty nicely. All right, now if you want to adjust the sizing, I'm just going to exit out of this. You can just go to this row. And now, previously while I was making this website, I've adjusted the spacing or the, the sizing. So the page, the width of it is 1920. So a lot of times you'll see 1080 in here. All right, but if you switch it to 1920. All right, and then you can adjust your width right here. Keep in mind, you're also going to want to do your 1920 width to your section as well. I'll keep it at 90% and I'll adjust it in the middle. But you can, if you do your section and it's not 1920 in uh, size, you might want to do that there as well if it's holding you back. Okay. But if you go back up to the row, go to design and sizing, and you use custom gutter width, this will adjust the spacing in between. All right. And I will equalize my column heights there. Um, but like I said, you can mess with that. Now, if you want to mess with your titles and examples, you can just go to the blog module settings. And if you scroll over here and just hit the paintbrush, you can adjust your, your title heading level. So I just do it like an ultra bold. And again, you don't want to match up with your uh, current layout. If you want to change the text size there. I usually always just go in here and just kind of hit the line height up to what I want it to be and change the text color. All right, and then you can choose your other options if you want to read more on there or not. And actually that's probably gonna be in here. If you go to content or elements. All right, show read more button. If you want the read more button, it's right there. And then if you want to design that, you just hit the paintbrush and you can design it however you'd like. All right. And so, so you can really just design that however you want it to be. Now, if you wanted to make it, maybe you only wanted one particular category, I would just duplicate this. Then if you just hit this module down here and go to uh, text, maybe you just wanted this to be like a all one category. And then I would just center it and just raise it up here. And then you can also go and get a divider. This is just somewhere you can spice it up a little bit here. Let's go design and line. Let's make that black. And sizing on the weight, I'll do three pixels. 
and then on the width I'll do 50% right and then just want to do that in the center and I'll just do a little of this spot facing in between that for the top and the bottom all right so and then you just go into your blog uh, settings here and then you just check whatever category that was category one check and that only shows category one now on your blog page all right now say I wanted to add like a, a header up here so what I would do is I would just go to here and I just go to new section just regular section and then I just add a new row <clears throat> with text and I just put my blog page you go back to design and box and uh, let's go to text we'll do a little text shadow on that and we'll make it a little bigger and we'll do a bold font we're gonna make that white and we're gonna put that in the center all right check that and then we'll just go back to this section here and go to background add a background image and we'll set this one and we'll put a little overlay on it so if we just go down here and go to overlay and you go back to the color choose the black all right and then you just put a little opacity on there and then you can put this all the way at the top now we're just the spacing below this one and just put a little bit on there now if you want more spacing right here you just go into your row and you go to sub design and spacing and then you just put however much spacing you want there all right All right, so there's your blog page and we just go to save again you can stylize that what however way you want so once you hit save you exit out of this then you go to save changes here and now we can go back here and refresh our blog page and there is our template so now our blog page looks like that now if we go to a post page our post page still looks like this so what we can do is go back to our theme builder go to add new template all post and create and go to add custom body and we're just going to copy from the template blog which is right here so we copy that and we'll go to edit now with the post layout it's a little bit different because you can have dynamic content so you can make your your uh, title display right here so what I'll do is I'll just go to trash this and go to new module and if you start typing in post, you can see all these things come up right here. Post title, slider, content, navigation. We'll go to post title. And what this is going to do is dynamically display our post title. So if I go to design and text, then I go to light. It'll display light colored text there. But this will display our post title, our featured image, and everything else that goes along with our post. So what I'll do is I'll just go to light text. I'll go to um, alignment in the center. And if you go to content and elements, you can choose what you want right here I'm just gonna take off the um, uh, let's see here the, the uh, we we'll show some meta let's see we'll take off the categories and the comments and the featured image just so we have that and then what we'll do is we'll just go to the paintbrush right here on this title make it bold and white and then we'll just go to the little drop shadow right there all right, and then what we'll do down here is we'll just delete this section and then what we can do is since that's our title if we go here and trash that module and go back to a new one and type in post this is our post content this is where all of our words are will be okay so this is all of our words and this is how you can uh, stylize your post headings and everything else is that you just stylize it here so once you stylize it here it'll take effect on all your post pages all right so you can just roll over the paintbrush to style your h1s your h2 headings all right your featured image how you want that to look you just hit the setting here or this is actually just on your regular images that you have in the the post okay you can choose how you want those to look and your text as well all right, and then once you're done with that, you just go to save this. 
All right, once that's saved, just hit the X button out here and just go to Save Changes. And once you go to Save Changes, you can refresh your post page. And there is my post, you see my post title and my author, and there's my text there. All right, so that's how you do that. Now, if you did wanna add a, uh, a sidebar, what you would do is you go, just go to your body, your custom body, and you can just go down here and go to a new section and you do a specialty section and you do one like this or you do one like this. So you select that, you just add a new row here and that would be like your blog, you know, so you go through that. And then over here on this side is just where you, you type in sidebar and you can just pull up that module and then you can choose whatever sidebar widget that you want to have right in that position there. All right, and then you could save that and that would be your template there. So that's how you do a blog post template. I hope you guys got some real value out of this. I hope it helps you out. If you guys are struggling with some Divi things, go ahead and check out my other tutorials. Go to DiviPlanet.com, get my five free landing pages right there. There's a lot of other stuff included in those emails as well. So I hope you get some value out of it. Check, check out my other stuff. I'll see you on another video.